This week's adventure in Iceland is brought to you by Squarespace. If you're looking to build a new website, then head on over to squarespace.com. Hello, hello everybody. Uh, we've been in Iceland for a few days now and uh, the weather has been, well, it's been extremely cold and, uh, and windy and not terribly conducive to photography. Uh, so we've gone back into town and we've picked up some more food for another three or four days in the highlands. This time we're in the southern highlands and uh, it's warmed up quite a bit so that's great even though it doesn't look like it <laughs> uh, we've stopped off at this area it's absolutely fantastic i just love the contrast between the really black uh, rock here and uh, this vibrant green so i want to try and take a shot of this river meandering down towards the uh, the cone at the very end there the only thing that isn't quite working uh, for, for this shot is the sky. It's a little bit bright. So what I'll probably have to do is expose for the sky and then just bring up the, uh, the valley a little bit in post-processing. But it's a nice little shot. It just has that meandering river that leads you all the way to that little pointy peak at the end there. Uh, the other guys are over here. And there's another shot that I want to take with some snow in it. Uh, Alice was over there taking that shot, so you know I didn't want to kind of barge in on, on his composition. So I'm not sure which one is better, whether this one is or the one with the snow. I've also taken my drone and tried to get some aerial shots looking down on the green, uh, the river kind of meandering around. There's some beautiful patterns in there. I managed to find one and I'll post it with uh, this image. Uh, I think it'll work quite well. I just love that contrast though, it's just beautiful. So once we've stopped here, uh, or once we've finished here, we're gonna keep heading into the highlands and the plan is to camp for uh, two or three nights and just kind of meander around and try and get a real feel for the area. I think that's part of my problem and that's been a problem in the past is just driving up to an area for uh, you know one day or so is really not enough so it's it's great just to plonk yourself in one spot and then just look for compositions from there on in right I'm just gonna finish up here I'll show you the image and then we're just gonna keep moving on to uh, the next location
Once again, I'd like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. I've been using a Squarespace website now for a couple of years, and one of the reasons why I went with Squarespace is ease of use. As an example, I recently updated my galleries by uploading all of the images from these Iceland videos. And I have to say, it took just a matter of minutes. It was just drag and drop, and then caption, and you're done. And it looks fantastic. If you're interested in Squarespace, be sure to visit squarespace.com. And if you like what you find, just enter the code Adam Gibbs for 10% off your first purchase. Can we just stop here for a sec? No. Okay. <laughs> of course we can. Of course we can. So, in the last few weeks, a number of people have commented on my channel uh, whether or not I've decided to get rid of my Nikon equipment. And the short answer is no. I really like the Nikon D850 that I have. Uh, it's just that I'm really fortunate to have a couple of other systems uh, that I can use in the, at the same time. And it just so happens that lately I've been using the, uh, the Fuji GFX, GFX50, which is a medium format camera. Now in the last few weeks, uh, actually before this trip, I decided to invest in another system more for video than anything else and that's the uh, Fuji X-T4 and uh, the last few videos I've been using this for uh, as a video camera and it's excellent but I also purchased this so that I would have a lightweight camera uh, when I go uh, hiking, backpacking, stuff like that so the idea is is that uh, if I go backpacking, then I'll use the X-T4 with a couple of lenses for my, my main uh, camera. And then as far as video goes, I'll use the little Sony that I have, the RX100, which I've been using pretty much for the last several years uh, with the YouTube videos. And then my regular uh, outings from home, Vancouver Island, I'll be using uh, the X-T4 as my primary video camera and then the GFX50 as my primary uh, stills camera. Now as far as the Nikon goes, the Nikon is excellent because well first of all I've invested quite a bit of money in, uh, in lenses and that's where the GFX kind of fails in that uh, well first of all I don't have long lenses for it and the longest lens that they make for that medium format camera is, uh, is 250 millimeters. Now you can get a, a tele extender for that uh, but it's sometimes not quite long enough. So. I'm right now I'm concentrating on this scene here I really love the snow in those gullies uh, set up against the green and the GFX uh, with the longest lens that I have the 1 to 200 just isn't long enough so that's where the X-T4 comes in I'm able to use that with slightly longer lenses to zoom in onto the areas that I want to photograph so this lens here is a 55 to 200 it's a variable aperture it's not their top of the line lens but uh, it's extremely sharp it's, it's a great lens for for the money that it costs and you know for backpacking this is a, a really light lens and it has a, a, a great coverage on it too so I have this lens the 55 to 200 and then I also have a couple of other wider lenses so this is what I'm concentrating on right now. Tom and uh, and Alistair and Thor have all kind of wandered off that way. And if you look behind me here, there's some absolutely beautiful uh, pointy peaks in the background here. 
Unfortunately, the light is a little bit heavy right now. Uh, we're not getting an awful lot of light coming through the clouds. So we're just kind of waiting for something to happen. But in the meantime, I'm just concentrating on abstracts and close-ups of these hillsides. So the, uh, the winds uh, picked up a little bit. Still not having an awful lot of luck with the, uh, the light right now. Uh, oh, it is starting to clear a little bit over here. I found a, another nice scene. I was trying to find a, a scene like this up over on the, on the hill to my right here, but th there is a river over there as well, but it kind of, it's over to the, to the left too far and it didn't quite, I don't know, it, it, the composition didn't look very well balanced to me. So I've come down across, the, there's a bit of a road and I've come on the other side here and there's another river. And uh, this seems to work just a little bit better with this peak here. Uh, but as I said, what I'm lacking right now is uh, a little bit of directional light. The skies are, uh, you know, they're pretty heavy right now with clouds, so Anyway, I'm just going to keep waiting. I mean, that's the nice thing about this time of year in Iceland. Uh, it doesn't really get uh, completely dark. So uh, I think right now it's about nine o'clock and it'll be light until about 11. And then it gets dark for a few hours and I think it gets light again at around two or three. So uh, there's, we can always come back in the morning, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'll just have to wait for the light, see what happens. So I can show you the, the composition that I have. Um, as I said though, it's just, you know, without light, it's probably not going to work uh, too well. Um, but this is the, we have the, the river kind of meandering its way through the center of the frame. And then I've, I've put the, the peak in the center because I'm probably going to crop this um, into either a square or four by five. I just like that balance and I and I do this a lot. I, I, I'll often put things in the center of the frame, not dead center, but up two thirds, but in the center. And then with the, the intention of cropping this either to square or, or four by five, as I said, this would probably work quite well as a, a vertical as well. Um, but it just needs just a little bit of light, not an awful lot, either on the side of the peak or uh, and the sides of the uh, the banks uh, of the river, just to give it some definition and uh, and depth. Well, after waiting for quite some time, the lights never did happen. But I did take a photograph anyway, and with a bit of careful dodging and burning, I managed to add just a little bit of depth to this photograph. So I took the image and then we moved on over to the next valley over, and as luck would have it, we got some beautiful light. But for those photographs, you'll have to wait until next week. Once again, thank you ever so much for watching this week's video. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, if you enjoy the content of my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, everybody, till next week, bye-bye.